What It Do Cosmic Crew. Like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. Without further ado, I got another video for you. So, just real quick, we're going to get uh, Miss Niecy Nash and then Miss Jessica's perspective on their relationship. Okay? So, first with Niecy, just tell us about... Um, I'm hearing love of my life, you are my friend. Who you do you rob my world? Yeah. Ooh, what's going on? Tell us about. Mhm. Mm There's a lot of passion here. I feel like um. This relationship has brought her a lot of sanity as well. A lot of clarity. I do. I, I think they've been talking for a minute. This was hidden from the world. Okay. And also, I feel like um, she eventually just had to admit to herself, like, yeah, I'm, I'm really feeling her. Like, I'm really into her. I think um, she also makes her feel really comfortable in her body. Okay. But also, it's a lot of... Let me keep going. It's dealing with criticism. Mm. Mm. I don't know what these ladies are into. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what these ladies are into. This definitely feels like some type of spiritual union. Okay. I'm getting a sense of some brujaria. Okay. What is this? Also, hey. Mm, yeah, somebody is a bit spiritually open, like they left themselves open here and unguarded. They're not really picking up on the signs here from their <laughs> ancestors. Mm -mm. Their head is in the clouds about what's really going on here, but they might be seeing it in their dreams. They might be having dreams and like picking up on it and what's going on but there's something here about this relationship it's definitely a, a powerful union okay a powerful union i feel like they're connected at the source all right also they might have um like i said i don't i don't know what they might be into but it feels like some kind of oaths were taken as far as tying themselves or binding themselves to each other. Mm. Now, I also get a sense that a lot of people might have uh, told her or warned her, maybe this is happening too quickly. Maybe um, you should rethink this. Maybe, uh, but she, she blocked a lot of that out. A lot of the naysayers, a lot of people that might have been in opposition towards this. And I feel like they do that together. Like they're a very united front. very white okay someone is being bound here in this relationship all right there is definitely some i think there have been times where she might have wanted to leave and couldn't wanted to kind of walk away felt that she was disconnected felt that they really weren't going anywhere but there was Something that always pulled her back or like drove her back or like made her, ooh. You got a lot to do with that cat. Now, meow. <laughs> ooh, <what? laughs> Stop. Oh my God. Yes. Yes. Okay, so. Whatever you into, 
it, 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 it. Okay. This is just it, it's a teachable moment for um you know women that might be into different things and doing different things like there's a reason why these relationships are so strong because you know the vagina is open so if you're if you're bumping and you're you're literally like mixing your fluids okay so that's something that's very powerful and something that you have to keep in mind that's also why these relationships can be a little volatile okay and that but that's also why they're so strong like you start smelling like them looking like them dressing like them like and then if somebody has knowledge what else <clears throat> i'm gonna get some water hold up Okay, I'm back. <sighs> now, everything I'm seeing here is willful, okay? I'm not sure if it was always, she was always aware, but at this point, yeah. What's there is a bit of a come up energy. Okay, somebody here has a lot of talent. Okay. They have a lot of things they want to put for put out. Might not have been um, as successful as they like. I feel like they put a lot of time into it too. So there is there, there's somebody here looking for a come up. I don't know. She was basically, you know, doing her own thing in her own right. Very successful. Um, I do feel like their relationship is very loving. It's very, uh, um, I feel like they exchange a lot of gifts. I feel like she really does give her her flowers. Kind of, um, you know, puts her on that pedestal. Let's her know that she's a star. And she knows that she's worthy of being adored and being, um, uh, celebrated. She celebrates her. And that's what she really likes. Also, there's a, a energy of, you know, seeing that she was a star and then coming in and, like, really putting on, like, some major, like, re somebody real smooth with it, Okay. Their intentions and their motives are very dark and selfish, okay? And I feel like they, like, that. somebody, it's real sneaky. And it's something also about, um, wanting to capitalize, okay? In two very different positions, and somebody has cloaked intentions here. Cloaked intentions for this, this person that's already established. And somebody, I also feel like somebody was in in a state of healing, like really coming to know themselves and like expressing themselves. And I, it feels like she was kind of being groomed. Can you see that? I don't know if y'all can see that. Okay. There might also be other women involved. Uh, might, yeah, they might involve other women into their relationship, or maybe they just have like a circle of friends, or just a lot of people that, um, this feels like a business arrangement for someone, and they're getting by with their talk game, and also 
someone is also doing some type of brujeria. Okay. Okay, mommy, I promise. On someone who has their money. Okay. Someone wants to come out of the rain. I want to go outside in the rain. Make it sound crazy. I want to go outside. I mean, hey, what do I know? Um, Jessica? Let's get Miss Jessica's perspective of what's going on here. Okay. Um, I will say she definitely has like a big zaddy energy very you know polished very masculine very dominant okay you know very hands-on like but it's like all this power but no motion i don't know going on here okay so there's a woman here someone who's very loving kind nurturing um, they really have a big heart I feel like they're really in this for the long run I feel like they really love someone oh my god <laughs> There's something about a strap. I don't know if they got a strap collection. And like flavored lube. And butt plugs. Maybe they just look up this stuff. I don't know. But uh, somebody, somebody wants to um, mentally encase this you know, loving mother figure into this thought bubble. They want to, like, isolate them and keep them mentally stuck. What else? This Jessica do some time? I don't know about her background, if she was in and out of jail or just different institutions, I don't know. But, um, like I said, I do believe that they're both on um, some type of spiritual path. They both have a lot of knowledge, uh, okay? I feel like a lot of things um, that they come with together flourish really well like they work really well together they're very their energy is very magnetic as well there's a, a very strong pull between them I, I get a sense they both really love nature and wine I feel like this lady is a repeat offender. How many people has she been with? Cause she do this a lot. She just want to use her for her stardom by way of this passion that she's igniting between them.
I really do get a sense that she's tried to leave. She is paying people overseas for this. Did they go on some kind of trip? I get really helped to speed up the process. And it worked because she really loves her. And she really loves her. And she knows that. Is it mutual? I feel like, like I said, very cunning, very charming, okay, very witty. I feel like she's, um, like, keeping her occupied sexually, like, just keeping her stimulated, keeping her mind off anything else but whatever her plans are. And there's somebody else involved here. I feel like there's somebody she's working with. Have they been talking about adopting or having a baby? Maybe a surrogate or something? Her family might have warned her. And she's smart too. And I'm saying that, um, all the traits you would want in a partner, someone who's understanding and, you know, they have a great conversation, they consider your needs. It's just the intention here that's fucked up. Now she's got a man, another man that uh, she cut off. But, um, girl. It's like she's totally avoiding the obvious. Because of the cloak and because of the fog. Okay. How, how is this going to... What's going to happen here? What's going to happen here? I, I feel like they're working on having a child or something together. Because she wants something in her name. She already got the last name. She wants something that's residual. Oh my God. It's like, first off, I don't know how many other people she's done this to, especially in whatever circle they're in or whatever. Also, something might come out with some kind of news or something. I think 
think this situation is going to take a lot of um, healing. When it's all said and done, um, it's actually very sad. Okay? Like for real. somebody else here. It might be a, a husband. An ex-husband. I don't know why her husband. She's still <clears throat> an ex-husband. But I, I get a sense that her ancestors are going to divinely guide her out of this. Okay? She's going to start listening. Something's going to happen. I don't know if a child is going to get through to her. or Something's going to happen where she's... um gonna make a move to do something a little different but I don't know if it's gonna happen at before or after they have a child together I mean, let me start looking mm -mm. okay 